In this short video, we're going to discuss a basic trigonometric integral. We're going to look at the integral of sine x. Now, what is the integral of sine x? We're just going to discuss that and work it out in this short video. So we're looking at the indefinite integral of sine x with respect to x. So when you're doing this, you have to ask yourself, what is a function whose derivative is sine x? And that, that might not be the easiest question to ask. So you, you say, okay, well, you know that if you take the derivative with respect to x of the cosine of x, that's going to be equal to negative sine of x. Okay, so the derivative of cosine is equal to negative sine, but here we don't have a negative, right? You want to get a positive. So how do you get a positive? Well, you add another negative. So if you take the derivative of negative cosine, that's going to be negative, negative sine x, right? Because this negative is from this, and then the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. Well, negative and negative is positive. That's what we want, right? So this is equal to negative cosine x plus our constant of integration, capital C. So when you look at the integral of sine, um, one way to do it is, is memorize it. And another way to do it is say, hey, what's a function whose derivative is gonna give me sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So the derivative of negative cosine is gonna give you a positive sine. So the integral of sine is equal to negative cosine. I hope you have learned a little bit of mathematics in this video. Take care.